here we are in the Hall's living room. It's a beautiful open space that has a gorgeous bank of east-facing windows, which makes for great light and warmth, but also creates a problem that many of us have, fading. These slip covers have been changed three times in the past two years. Other challenges, cleanability, durability. With a beach for a backyard and two little girls, this furniture has seen its fair share of sandy bottoms, wet popsicle sticks, and sunscreen. Now it's time to get rid of this fabric and bring in the new. This is where style meets function and follows you wherever you go, where design never stops, and the challenges are endless. Perspective New England. The windows in this space are great in the winter to warm up the room, but in the summer it makes it very hot and it actually fades out a lot of the furniture very quickly. We flipped the pillows, we've washed them, and they're completely faded within two years. Furniture is arranged this way because when we were designing it with the architect, that's the way it was in the plan. <laughs> that's the way it has stayed ever since. Hearing what you had to say about the sun coming into your living room, coming into the furniture, some of it getting faded. Yeah. So what I'd like to do is share with you a new plan. Okay. And Basically, I'm bringing the elevation up to a little bit more sophisticated. So your living room, it has beautiful light coming through the windows. So what I'd like to propose is that we use this sheer fabric that will drape beautifully because it's quite sheer. Oh yeah, that's very nice. So from an overall design standpoint, I'm introducing colors, uh, some strong colors of navy, highlighted by some light blues, and then some, introducing some pops of orange, but nothing too oh, strong and then changing the furniture layout. I would love to connect the kitchen to the living room even more. That sounds like a great plan. I can't wait to see it into life. Good. I can't imagine how the draperies are gonna fit into our giant windows and our transoms on top. I never knew if they should go below or above, so I can't wait to see how the design's gonna work. Greg and Stacy have had trouble picturing window treatments in their living room, but they do understand the need for something to help diffuse the sunlight while still maintaining this beautiful view. Questions on how do I hang window treatments when I have transom windows is something that I get asked all the time. I'm also replacing some of the furniture, so let's go shopping. I drove up here to beautiful Newburyport because I heard of this really cool store called Redbird Trading Company. Can't wait to find a sofa and swivel chairs that I love. Hello! How are you? So cute. Oh, I um, love this. This one here is the 316332. Mm -hmm. And this is really pretty. It's super oh comfortable. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. It's a great size, a nice clean line. Mm -hmm. A little deep. little deep. Well, um, I can show you others in the catalog okay. that would be more suitable. But this suitable style perhaps. is exactly what I'm looking for. What do you think about the 1701? I love that one. Because that's a tight back with a square arm. That's a great frame I as well. I love that one. That and, one's perfect. Mm -hmm. It also doesn't look too high. No, it's not. It's, it's 34. 34. And then your depth is 35, so Which it's comfortable, nice. but it's not as, as deep as that one. That one looks great. I have my own fabric for everything. Does Lee Great. Industries accept customer owned material? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So we'll look up the yardage for your COM fabric, let you know what it is so you can order from the manufacturer Great. exactly what you need. Mm -hmm. And we will get it shipped down to Lee Industries mm -hmm. and they'll produce your furniture. Great. Have a good one, Miss Ella. <laughs> So we're at Ree, which is one of my favorite antique stores in Rhode Island, owned by one of my most favorite people. Let's go check it out. Hi, Heidi. Hey, Kate. How, How are, are you, my you? friend? Good to see you. Your store looks beautiful. Thank you. We got so much new in. Oh, awesome. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I love this. What a fun color. I love the crab. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Even doing like a little collection of black and whites or something. I know. You could something like that would be really cool yeah. in a bookcase. All right, I definitely want to keep that in mind. Okay. I want to keep it kind of cool and interesting. Yeah, in the bookcase. but without going kitschy. Yes. 
Oh, Heidi. Tell me about this guy. Oh, I love him. He is a vintage drawing model. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's a local artist. Really? That was one of the ones I was thinking. Today I found two beautiful pieces of art that I'm going to place side by side above the sofa and it's really gonna pop that entire blank wall. Ah! <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies, for Bye, everything. Kate. Have Bye, a good Kate. day. Bye. 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 <laughs>today is installation day. This is my favorite part of the project. Furniture is being moved around, window treatments are going up, rugs are getting installed. Let's go check it out. Hey Ken. Oh hey Kate, how are you? These look great. Perfect position, love the finish. What's going on? So far so good. Um, we mounted them up above the transom. Mm -hmm. uh, figured we can go on the top of the woodwork so that uh, we have a nice clean finish on the top. Perfect. Uh, length worked out well. Got the uh, drapes pinned, ready to hang them. So uh, that's the next step. Great. Thanks so much. Yeah. I'll let you get back go to work. work. I like to mix in old and new, new books. Um, I'm bring in some leather books and just some nods to nautical. This living room was great to start, but it had some challenges with cleanability, durability, and fading. I've since transformed this room by introducing new fabrics on the sofas and the chairs and these beautiful window treatments that soften the room and don't impede the view. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, wait for me. <laughs> it's actually funny. <laughs>